Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game from the history of chess. And in this game, why it is Giulio Cesare Polerio and his opponent is a player named Domenico who is playing with the black pieces. This game has been played in Rome, Italy in 1610 in the 17th century. So this game has been played in 407 years ago, an extremely old chess game from the history of chess. And Polerio was an Italian chess theoretician and player. So Giulio Cesare Polerio starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4. That's the Italian opening. Knight to f6, knight to g5, Fred liver attack. How to defend? Attacking on f7. Domenico played d5, that's the standard defense. e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, it's white to move. Giulio Cesare Polerio played a very aggressive move and he sacrificed his knight. Knight takes on f7. And he's sacrificing his knight at move six. Black is accepting the sacrifice. King takes on f7. Queen to f3, that's check. Also forking the king and the knight. Defending the knight with the king, king to e6. Knight to c3, the pressure is on d5. How to defend? Domenico played knight c to e7, defending on d5. D4, C6, more protection on D5. So black is a piece up. Bishop to G5, H6. Bishop takes on E7. Bishop takes Bishop. And Polerio castled in the queen side. Rook to F8, attacking the queen. Queen to E4. Rook takes on F2. D takes on E5. Opening the d-file for the rook. Bishop to g5, it's check. King to b1. Rook to d2, h4. Rook takes rook. And exchanging the rooks. Domenico played. Bishop takes on h4. It's white to move. And Giulio Cesare Polerio played. Knight takes on d5. C takes on d5. Rook takes on d5, and black is in big trouble. So let's make a random move. Let's say queen to f8, then rook to d8. It's a discovered check to the king with the bishop. King to somewhere, and then rook takes queen. And black needs to resign in this position. White is winning. As you can see, not all squares are safe for the queen. So black needs to be very careful in this position. Domenico played queen to g5, but then rook to d6, check, king to e7, rook to g6, and black resigned. Well, the possible continuation, let's say queen to d2, saving the queen, then rook takes on g7, check, king to e8, rook to g8, king to d7, bishop to b5, king to e6, rook to g6, king to f7, e6, king to e7, queen takes bishop, check, king to d6, queen to g3, king to c5, queen to e5, king to b6, and as you can see, black is losing after bishop to d3, that's a discovered check, king to a4, and then queen to b5, and that's checkmate. So that's why after move 21, after Giulio Cesare Polerio played rook to g6, his opponent had enough, and he resigned. A very beautiful chess game from the 17th century. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.